Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Do welcome, welcome. We sell only the strongest dwarven steel, folded over a hundred times in the forges of Orzammar. In times like this, surely your group could use some extra protection on the road. Every piece comes with a stamp of assurance from my wife's father, the best smith in Denerim. What do you need? Yes, what are you doing here? My name is Waylon. I'm the assistant of the scholar brother Genitivi. This is his house. He is an eminent scholar and researcher who serves the Great Chantry. When you first came in, I was, was hoping that you had news of Brother Genitivi. Wishful thinking, it seems. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He said no word. It's so unlike him. Genitivi was on the trail of the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I fear he has gotten too close to the truth. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi, and they too have disappeared. Now don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. <sighs> so be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Callenhard, investigating something in that area. I don't know. All I discovered from going through his research was that he was staying at the inn. Y yes, of course he told me, but I also went through his things to see if I could find other clues to his whereabouts. That's n not true. I told you everything I know. Brother Ginny TV told us, t told me about the inn and that's all. Us? I mean me. There is no us. Bah! Why do I keep up this charade? I gave you a chance to turn aside and forget you ever heard of Genitivi and the Urn, but you persisted. Now it has come to this. And just they forgive me, I do this in your name. <laughs>
Do you think they sell silk ribbons in that store? I've been meaning to spruce up my boots for the longest time. Lots to be done. What can we do? Just keep your head down. Neighbor fled the city yesterday. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Magic exists. It's done. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. One of those things can't be true. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Can they? We'll see. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. And here we are, Soldier's Peak. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. I wasn't lost, it's just that the map got soggy. Bah, we're here. So, I'll follow you about from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Soldier's Peak. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Once the Wardens flourished, their ranks full, their caliber certain. Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Hey! What do you need? Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. 
Instead, they hole up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the Peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. Whoa, what was that? I felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard an Orlesian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. How's this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. Yes, Warden. together. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. 
Men, I won't lie to you. The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving, and my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Oh, well, that's kind of you to say. Generations of Drydens have said that our stock were lions. Fierce, proud, and noble. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. So be it. On my way. Right away. Mm-hmm. 